Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to another episode of UJersey and another installment of Seth's Bucolic Sites. Today we're going to be exploring the Willow Grove Lake Preserve. This week's episode is going to be a little bit different than normal because I've never been to this place before and I don't know much about it. I was looking through Google Maps trying to find places that I hadn't visited before that are close to home and I came across this spot. What I do know about it is it's about a two, two and a half mile long trail through a densely wooded piece of land in Newfield, New Jersey. So I figured I'd make an episode and bring you along for the ride. So hopefully it doesn't suck. Let's check it out. So I don't know much about the layout of this place, and I'm not sure if there's any major landmarks back here, but one thing I do know is that this place is part of the NJ Pinelands. And if you've ever spent any time in the Pinelands, you've probably noticed the smell of pine. What you're actually smelling there is a terpene called pinene. A terpene is an aromatic compound made in plants, and pinene is the most common terpene made in plants. Two plants that make the most pinene are pine trees and cedar trees, which are all over in the pine lands. And aside from making some of the most refreshing smelling air on the planet, in my opinion, pinene also has a multitude of health benefits. One of them is it's a bronchodilator, which means it increases airflow to the lungs. And it's also said to make you feel more lucid and aware and reduce short-term memory loss. So next time you're in the pines, enjoying your time, also, be sure to remember that the nature that surrounds you is healing your body and your mind. Pretty cool. Another special thing about New Jersey, and specifically the Pinelands, is that it's the blueberry capital of the world. So if you're hiking pretty much anywhere in the Pinelands in the early to midsummer months, you can find wild blueberries growing all around you. But don't ever eat wild fruit unless you know exactly what it is. So I've hiked about a mile down the trail here and I came to this sign wedged up against a tree. It says River Vista, pointing me to the left or to the right from where I was coming. Let's check it out and see what's down there. All right, so I'm following the River Vista trail here and I know the Maurice River is nearby but looks like this trail has not been maintained in a long time. It's very overgrown. I think I might be able to see some water down there, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get through this stuff. We'll see. <sighs> All right, so I made it to the vista that the sign was pointing me to. Man, it's hot today. Looks like there used to be a little boardwalk that took you through this swampy area back behind me but it's all completely overgrown now. The boards of the boardwalk are all messed up and even this dock at the end, I don't know, it looks like maybe it got flooded out and just thrown up here, it's all crooked. So if you got good shoes and don't mind walking through about 50 yards of muck to get here, I will say it is actually a pretty beautiful spot. You're right here on the Maurice River. It's very quiet eh, besides the sounds of nature and there's beautiful cedar water that I'll show you in a second, but uh, the vista is here if you see this sign if you come out here but you're gonna have to walk through some crap to get here
All right, so I finished the majority of the main trail, which is the red trail here. So you follow the red trail blazes through the woods. I was just about to loop back to where I started when I saw that the trail went down to the right as well. So I came out here to this opening to cut out in the woods for the power lines to go through. It's a pretty cool area as well. But overall, I'd say this place is pretty great. It's very dense forest, very remote. A lot of wildlife, birds, bugs, deer, squirrels running around. You got the Maurice River if you're willing to trek through the mud to get there. And it's a really good hike as well. I probably could have picked a cooler day to come out here. Probably lost about 10 pounds in water weight, but it was definitely worth it. So hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. A little bit something different. Have a new experience, a place for the first time with me as well. And I hope you come check it out. It's, uh, it's definitely worth, worth coming. So again, thank you for tuning in. If you haven't already done it, subscribe to our YouTube channel at View Jersey. Follow us on Instagram at view underscore Jersey. Share this video with your friends, give it a like, all that good stuff. And if you come to any of the locations that we've taken you to, make sure to tag us in your pictures so we can follow you on your adventures while you follow us on ours. Thanks again.